Hello my dear students, so teacher Dan Martin here and for today's lesson we will be talking about part of speech. But first we will be talking about American literature. We are going to read a short story by uh, Jack and the Benstock, retold by Flora Annie Steele. And the story about this is Jack and her mother, they were very poor and her mother told Jack to sell his only one cow on the market and Jack on the way he met a man and the man was very interested on the cow and Jack asked for an exchange and the man show up uh, five beans and Jack accept because the man told it's a magic beans and Jack got home and her mother was very angry because it's just a bin. Her mother told Jack, uh, her mother throw away on the window the five magic bins and Jack sleep at that night without eating on eating uh, on dinner. And in the morning Jack woke up and he saw a giant bean stock. And that's the only story I can tell you. And my dear children, you have to read these stories. Okay, let's go back to our main topic, the eight part of speech, the noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and determiner. So the noun is all about uh, name of person, place, and the pronoun is he, she, we, they, and the verb is an action word, uh, jumping, walking, and sleeping. <laughs> and the adverb is, it's talk about the verb, describing the verb, uh, for example, is jump, is jumping. And he runs slowly. And, and adjective it's the word that describes a noun or pronoun. For example, the car is blue. And I'm very tired. And another another part part of speech preposition. The preposition, the word or a group of words that is used with a noun, pronoun, or a noun phrase to show direction, location, or times on to introduce an object. For example, the boy is in the room, the book is on the table. So guys, read uh, my files I'm going to send you on the MS team. And another part of speech the determiners there's a word such as the some any my or your that comes before a noun and it is used to show which thing is being referred for example a the some any my or your so that's the eighth part of speech I hope you learned something and I'm going to make some activity for you and take a look. So lately we read a short American literature, the Jack and the Benstock. So for your activity, my dear student, you have to list down the part of speech that they use on the stories and i'm gonna post the files on the our msms and please pass on time thank you